It's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. He's called Savvy. Almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jam. Say hello to Troy. Is that a woman? Yeah, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. What happened to your face? You're for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is. It's bloody, it's bloody Scarface. Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Give me that. Hey, it's Crane. Now I know you're headed for Doctor Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rice's thugs. So just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? But the thing is, the GRE... I hear his voice and all I hear is Sonic. I'm supposed to find out where Rise sent this, this classified file, but, but that doesn't matter anymore because... The yeah, he does have a pretty cool voice, like... <laughs> the city, but I talked him into... Have you seen the Sonic redesign for the movie? Yeah, he looks like a toy. Some way to let him know that we've <laughs> the redesign? Yeah. Did you prefer it the way it was before? <laughs> I say to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> How dare you? I, I I didn't mind this original design. I didn't have a problem with it. Just, just didn't look like Sonic. I I would prefer them to like, just like do whatever they want. Make as you said, Michael. Uh, make their own movie without people like criticizing them. Oh no, you have to change Sonic. It doesn't look like Sonic make the the to make the best movie you can make you have to um do it the way you want to do it not the way people want you to do it yeah but, but they made like a terrible decision look the movie's gonna be shite anyway oh no well that is actually what i said when they were deciding to do the redesign i was like yeah redesign sonic all you want but that is the smallest yeah. problem you have like, with this it, movie. it probably would have been more funny seeing the original design a high good fit look. Yeah, they've made it canon now. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Sometimes I have very bizarre tastes in media. Like I like the Assassin's Creed movies, <laughs> like that. <laughs> which got really panned by critics. Mm. And I I've played the game, so I'm not using the excuse because I know the story in the game. So it's I not mean. <laughs> I feel like I need to respond to your 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 blast me about referencing my previous argument about what about um people should be allowed to do make movies in whatever way they want. Yeah. That is that is true. Yeah. But they should also be be, be willing to take the criticism surrounding the movie they made the way they want. Yeah, exactly. I just don't think complaining about casting someone based on their race, gender, or sexuality is 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 a is a good. Is, yeah. I just don't think it has anything to do with the quality of it. To be fair. Well, you say that, but what happens if all our movies end up being uh mostly women instead of men? Then I think we should um go out and start making movies with men in it. Yeah. Because that's the. Uh, that's the uh, argument that was always used when women complained about this. They were like, well, if you think there should be more women in movies, go out and make more movies with women in them. And people were like, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. And then and now everyone's like, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but but my male protagonist. I don't know. And then I just think if, if it does get to that point, then men and women who want to see men... <laughs> As main characters again, we'll just have to start making the movies. Mm -hmm. We'll have to rely on you, Michael, to <laughs> make those movies. <laughs> Whenever you become no, a no, I'm famous... gonna make all female movies. Oh Jesus! Please tell me, women please are... tell me you're joking. <laughs> I have, I have a totally sexist. Um... Are you gonna make <laughs> like, them all in their like underwear? <laughs> what? Are you gonna make them all women in their underwear? <laughs> yeah. I... I'm just gonna be making porn, soft, soft porn with really good storylines. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I always find like <laughs> at least action movies with female protagonists more interesting because um, <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb. Um, not dumb. It's gonna sound really sexist, but I mean, 
in real life, um, there is a definite like difference between like the natural physical strength of men and women. Yeah, can't really argue about that. So when a, a woman's the main character and she's fighting <laughs> a bunch of men and she and she beats them, yeah, it's way more impressive, and uh, it it kind of feels like she's in more danger than a, a male protagonist. But, but it's also more unrealistic as well. It's a movie. It, it's a I know it's like um like it, it's like if like it's, there's this comedian and he has it's the... not unrealistic if. If you can suspend your disbelief to one man fighting <laughs> four men at once and winning, you can suspend your disbelief to it being a woman. Well, maybe if... if that is not a huge stretch. If, if either of them are like uh, fighting geniuses, where they have like black belt and loads of martial arts, then I'm more, more inclined to believe it. Yeah, well, that's that's the whole point. Yeah. Like, but, but, I don't know, say, have you seen Die Hard? Yeah. It it no replace John McLean with a woman. No, but I haven't watched. Are you out? I haven't watched Die Hard. No. Okay. Um, have you seen any other? <laughs> God, have you seen any other like iconic action movies? Um, <laughs> with a male protagonist. Well, well. Before I answer that, uh, let me just say, there's a girl in The Walking Dead. Um, I forget. It's like the wee American girl, and her arms are like two are twigs. They all American? What? You say The Walking Dead? Yeah, it's like the wee army girl um, in The Walking Dead. And her arms are like two twigs. And they portray her as like this really tough, badass woman. But like the 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 black girl, I forget her name. Like she looks like a warrior because she has muscle. But this girl's like her arms are so skinny. And we're expected to believe that she is like this really tough person. It's like... You have to look the part. See, if, if that just comes down to your, how you're like. But that's not sexist. T- taking that, that's if not she se- was, maybe she's just acting tough. I like, like. I think there's some scenes where she's like physically fighting somebody, and it just yeah, zombies. You you know what I'm? There's they're all movie, really good at killing zombies. But there is movies where like, you can have like the most scrawniest woman. And she's just kicking somebody's ass. And yes, it looks ridiculous if you're if you're a scrawny guy as well. It's not a sexist thing. Like yeah, this, there's just. I mean, I mean, the whole point is to suspend your disbelief the way you would for any crazy movie where stuff that doesn't happen in real life happens. Yeah. But it just depends on whether you think the only thing that comes down to winning in a fight is your how much muscle you have. I know, but. You have to have at least a wee bit of muscle <laughs> to be able to put up a fight. No. Anyway, where are you at? I'm at the objective here. Oh. It's the last yeah. uh, oh, I'm right there, buddy. Have you seen a woman named Jade Aldemir? She's got long dark hair, she's tough as nails. Beautiful brown eyes, a luxurious lips. His name over there. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> But I I see um I walk the street and uh, sometimes I hear like a woman say something sexist about me like I hear them in the background stop looking at that man's ass or like another thing like I walked into the store yesterday and there were these two women and one one of them was like look it's a man it's a man it's a man it's like you couldn't say if if I was saying <laughs> that to a woman no but if I Did said that, that actually t- happened yes. <laughs> What? Wait, what is the context? What store did you walk into? It was a spa. I was just walking into a spa, and there are these two women that see me, and I was walking in. They go, oh, look, it's a man, it's a man. I was like, Did they work there? No, they were walking into the store as well. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. I'm not... Well, maybe... <laughs> I, I don't know. It, I just, it per... sounds so, Bally, so weird. Bally, like Castle, just... Bally Castle's a strange place. So like... they just start going, it's a man. <laughs> it's... Yeah. <laughs> But Bally Castle is a very strange place, so it is like that could be the reason. But yeah, I'm I'm getting that. That might be a Bally Castle thing. Yeah, well, it's not just Bally Castle. I'd say it's country thing because you get it in Ballymena, you get it in all these other pokey places, you know. Jade, are you here? Um, <laughs> give me more experiences you've had. 
<laughs> with women. <laughs> with women? Um, I, I need to... Yeah, other, like, amazing things you, like that. You've put me on the spot here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there was, whenever I was at school, there was this girl, I wasn't fully grown, there was this girl that was bigger than me, and she grabbed my hand and pulled me down, and she says, marry me! I was like, <laughs> she's quite strong, so I had to, like, really pull my hand away. But she, she, so. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't fully, okay. fully grown at the time, so I wasn't, you know. Would you be bigger than her and I? I'd probably be about the same size as her, to be honest. But I'd probably be physically stronger than her. It just sounds like she had a crush on you. Well, she was very masculine looking, so it wasn't my type. I know. No, but... she was taking the piss out of me. No, it didn't have... I know when somebody's taking the piss out of me, she was taking the piss out of me. She was. Hi, so. Because her friends were there and her friends were laughing. Her name's Jade Aldemir. That's so weird. You didn't miss her. And what age? What age were you? God, this was a long time ago. I was in secondary school. I don't know what year I was in. Second, okay. second year, maybe? May 14. So that's... Uh, irrelevant. Um, I mean something like, as, as an adult, like just walking through yeah. the streets of Valley Castle. Like, like it, not that strictly, like, I don't know, sitting in a restaurant or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, things that weren't done by like a kid well um there's this is one well, what if i i'll give you a different type of example um whenever i was with my ex we were holding hands um it was a guy and uh he uh he walked past us and whenever he walked past us he says your girlfriend looks like a real witch but that's a that's a different example <laughs> that's not a that's not the example. Yeah, that's the most irrelevant thing. Was so that was. I, I thought. <laughs> I thought. I for I why thought guys it... are assholes. <laughs> well, guys can be assholes too. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I, as I say, I'm looking for equality. I'm not. I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for guys to have an easy break either. But. But what's what are the uh, steps towards being equal when it's it's already leaning so far to one side? Well, well. Like, how take do you steps. how do you even it out? Well, take steps to swing it back. It's not simple. But how? How though? Like, we're putting, like, just put, um, like, say, uh, Gears of War, like, make the next main character a male again, like, instead of female, you know, things like that. Just uh, balance it out, you know. It's never going to be exactly equal, but you have to try and make it as close as possible. See, they... And mm. that's not the way the world's going. The world's trying to make it all women. Like, men are becoming more feminine. Women are becoming more masculine. <laughs> everyone has their roles in society. It's like, everyone has their limitations. Like, I'm, I'm never going to be anybody big in life, and I'm okay with that. So, what, what do you mean? Like, you're not gonna like go to the gym and work out? N no, I mean famous. Oh right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's why I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, you could just just start just start eating more protein. And take, going a, to the take, gym. A, take a take a mag sample bit too literally. Uh, but uh, <laughs> oh fuck, that zombie made me <laughs> fall. Um, but. Uh, yeah, everyone has their roles in life. Men and women are good at different things. Women are naturally better in caring roles. Men are naturally better in physical roles. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. So they do. And that's what I'm trying to get across to the feminists. That is. Uh, most of the time, I just try to piss them off. <laughs> so do. Do, you actually, do you actually think women... Are better in current rules yes uh, yeah generally generally not not um not all but generally speaking yeah because they're naturally so you more... wouldn't say that they they tend to just gravitate more towards those type of things rather than being better at it well i think naturally there is 
not all women, but some women are naturally more interested in current roles. Like, I've talked to girls on dating sites and a lot of them say, I really want to be a curer. Like, it's very rare I talk to a woman who says, I want to work in um, data protection. Like, there obviously is, but there's very rare ones that I have spoken to. Unless you do a course specifically that has them, if you know what I mean. It's so interesting. I love talking to you. <laughs> I have a unique... I'm, I'm obviously not going to change your mind about anything, but I just wanted to keep asking questions to mm -hmm. find out more stuff. So well, <laughs> let's stop I'm talking not, about this. I'm not the type of, uh, well, I'm not the type of person who like, is stuck in his ways. Like, If you can prove me wrong, I will change my opinion, but... Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think you would accept any proof and because everything's so anecdotal there there really isn't no hard yeah. hard and fast like, proof it, it's because a, everything is just like yeah it's a, it sounds like that everything is getting more uh <laughs> that women are gonna uh, take over yeah but it sounds like i'm really passionate about the subject but i'm actually it's it's just me making an observation so it is like i'm not yeah. i'm not angry about it or anything it's just yeah, you don't come across as being angry about it at all. Yeah, it's just observation. The internal global relief effort documents surface today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was listening to that. <laughs> Even though it was boring. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in the speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military life must go on, everyone. Okay, see you, bye. But now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. The Ministry did this. They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern. Something the zombies could never do. Trouble is... We got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top. Michael? <laughs> You're in this game? Damn straight, I am. <laughs> the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. We've got to do something You're right a runner. Now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. You, me, the tree. Tell Michael I'm on my way. While I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? I'll try to get her to meet me. <laughs> you have my word. <laughs> Yeah. Hello guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. Bye!